。十月一日是中华人民共和国成立六十三周年，也是中澳建交四十周年。今天。中华电视会带大家去看一下几个正式的国庆日庆典。中国驻墨尔本总领事施伟强先生在中国领事馆举行了正式的庆祝典礼。Sixty-three years, China has undergone dramatic changes from a weak. And a poor nation to the second largest economy in the world, particularly thanks to its 30 years reform and opening up, China has seen substantial progress economically and socially. Australia is China's important partner of cooperation. A sound China-Australian relationship is in the fundamental interests of both people. This year marks the 40th anniversary of the diplomatic ties between China and Australia. In the past four decades, China-Australian relations have witnessed remarkable progress. Our two-way trade volume has increased 1,000-fold. Exchanges and cooperation in all other areas have also seen fruitful accomplishment. To date, China is Victoria's largest trading partner, the largest exporting market. And、uh, importer, the number one source of overseas students, as well as the fastest-growing international tourism market. Mutual understanding is crucial for mutual trust. Mutual trust is key to close cooperation. China and Australia are different in history. Culture, development stage, and the social system. It is due to this difference that we need to increase our mutual understanding and become more open and inclusive. I believe, as long as we look at our differences with inclusiveness, expand our common ground. And deepen our mutual trust. China-Australia cooperation will become more promising and more productive in the coming year ahead. China's National Day is a time is a time where the nation comes together. It's a day when China and the Chinese people living abroad、uh, embrace their identity. And feel a sense of belonging with the history, but it's also a time to reflect on the success of China during the past 12 months, but also of the past 63 years. But in doing so, let's not forget China's long and proud history, almost 5,000 years old. But it's been the last 63 years that. That、uh, China has developed into a modern and prosperous nation with a, a rich history. The Chinese community is continuing to grow. I'm not sure if you noticed the 2011 census. There are 95,000 Victorians who were born in China, and over 225,000 who associate with China. And China, as a source country, has moved from fifth position. To third position, just below India and the UK, and so because of this human resource of of our people-to-people -people skills and knowledge, I think it's important that we continue, as the Consul General said, to work closely with China, because the importance of China cannot be ignored by anyone, and that's why we, the Victorian government, is working closely and actively together. 
in a variety of ways to promote and expand our relationship with China. I look at the future of relationship between China and Victoria with great confidence and optimism because I think the future is bright. We've got the resources, we've got the human resources here to utilise and build that bridge even stronger. So on behalf of the Victorian government, I again wish you all the best for tonight's celebrations and I wish everyone, including the Chinese community in Victoria, all the best as they prepare to mark the official Chinese China's National Day on the 1st of October. Thank you. I often say when I'm, I'm being very proud of Melbourne, I, I talk about how we have 220 different nationalities, we speak nearly 240 different languages and dialects, we practice 105 different faiths, and we are one Melbourne. And I think that's something we should be very proud of. But inside that is the contribution of the Chinese community to Melbourne. You know, after English, Mandarin is now the most spoken language by 10% of our community. And that's an indication of the confidence that the Chinese community has placed in our city. And I'm so delighted at the contribution that the Chinese community makes to us being a world city, a multicultural city, a diverse city, a tolerant city. Congratulations on the 63rd anniversary of the People's Republic of China. In Melbourne, other places also held a celebration, such as the Dongfang Huang Gong Festival. The whole full room of people here celebrating the 63rd anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China, and we are also celebrating the 40th year of the、um, relationship between China and Australia. In Springwell Citizen Hall, they also held various different Chinese cultural performances to celebrate the 63rd anniversary. 是家人，不要嫁给别人，一定要嫁给我。带着你的嫁妆，拎着你的妹妹，坐着那马车来。你要是家人，不要嫁给别人，一定要嫁给我。带着你的嫁妆，拎着你的妹妹，坐着那马车来。带着你的嫁妆，拎着你的妹妹，坐着那马车来。嘿。